Well, it's about two days since the chicks hatched and they're doing very well. Mum's been great. Being very attentive. So mum's been great, being very attentive. Calling the chicks over to uh, mealworms at the moment. But um, I think what I'd like to do now, I can see there's no movement on the last egg. And I think that's not going to hatch now. What I think I'd like to do now, just to make the, uh, sure the chicks are getting all they need, is to put, cut some turf and just place it at the bottom of the, uh, put it in the bottom of the uh, cage. It'll be a much more natural environment. And at the moment she's trying to feed the at the moment she's trying to feed the chicks mealworms but they're often falling through the wire and it will just give them a better start if they're allowed to scratch around on something natural like grass and I can move out the uh, the turf every couple of days if it gets when it once it gets dirty and just replace it with new turf The section of turf I need doesn't need to be large, just to give the uh, hen and the chicks somewhere to scratch around on. Nice thing about doing it this way is once it gets dirty after a few days I can just take it out, put it straight back to where it came from and I'll just repeat that until the uh, chicks are a good size. I don't think you need to do this as a, a rule but I'm just being flexible and going with what feels will give the chicks a, bit, a good start. Okay here we go. Here we go. Now then, I'll just take the top off carefully. Take these out. Now then, I think she'll really like this. Yeah. Give us some mealworms. And get you some fresh water. There we go. Put that there. And one precaution I'll take now the chicks have hatched take some stones and just pop them in the deeper parts of the, um, the water trough. It's, um, it's amazing how easily chicks find to, uh, to drown themselves in even a shallow dish of water and putting in a few pebbles like this it just means that they get wet rather than falling in full length, getting confused and drowning.